What's up guys, it's your girl Angie and I am back with another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I make the lock extensions, the permanent lock extensions from scratch. Um, I may include how I install them, I'm not sure, but definitely how I make them. So if you guys wanna learn, stay tuned. And that's it. Okay guys, I am going to be using this Cuban Twist Equal Hair. I'm going to be showing you how to go from this when it's fresh out of the package to these beautiful, beautiful lock extensions. They are in the color 1 and I'm sorry, 1B and 2 and they are 10 to 12 inches and they are very beautiful. To complete the style, you will need the Cuban Twist Double Strand Kinky Hair. It is by the brand Equal. You will need a total of four packs to get around 80 to 90 locks. I did use the colors 1B and number 2. You'll also need a crochet hook or a crochet needle. I have several because I do locks a lot. Um, so whatever you're comfortable with, use it. You will need a comb to tease the hair. Rubber bands aren't necessary, but you do need scissors. Once you have the hair out of the package, you're going to go ahead and split it directly down the middle and you're going to cut straight across so that you can have two sections of hair. If the pack says 12 inches, once you split it down the middle, it will be 12 inches for each lock. So pay attention to the length when you are purchasing your hair. And you'll have two sections of hair now so that you can begin to make your locks. Now I am just counting each strand to see how many strands do I have so that I can get an idea of how thick I want to make the locks and how many pieces do I have to use so that I won't uh, run out of hair. Okay, so I know that I want around 65 to 80 locks. So... Um, I figured that I should use two strands for each lock so that I can have the right thickness and that they won't be too thick or too thin and that I'll still have enough hair to complete the entire style. So step one is basically stretching the hair out. You're going to use your comb to stretch the hair or comb it out. You're not combing it completely out, but you're just making it um, have more texture than what it already has. And you will be able to visibly tell the difference between when it first came out of the packet. Okay, so step two is the actual crocheting part. You're going to squeeze the top of the hair where you want the extension part to be at. And then you're going to take your crochet needle or hook and go in and out um, while you're actually rotating the hair. And it's going to form the dread. Now this part is very hard to explain, so I'm going to try my best and I'll slow the video down some for you guys. Another thing to note before you start crocheting is the hook should always be facing the opposite way of you. The hook should never face towards you because if it is facing towards you, the dread will not form properly. Make sure it's not facing you because the dread will not look right. As you can see here, I'm going in and out while squeezing the hair and also slowly rotating the hair in between my fingers. Um... If you're a beginner, please, please, please be careful because a lot of people do tend to stab themselves. So, guys, just make sure you're being careful. I'm fortunate enough to have never stabbed myself. Knock on wood. The crochet hook is just, it's just going in and out, in and out, in and out, left and right, left and right. And then with your hand that you're holding the actual lock with, you're slowly rotating that, the, the lock so that it can form, um the uh the width of the lock if you guys 
you know, can't get it, take your time, try it again. You're, you're gonna get it. It just takes practice. All right, guys, so when you finally get to the end of the lock, you're going to take that extra piece of hair that's there and fold it over. And then once you have it folded over, you're going to take your crochet needle and crochet that part just like you were doing the rest of the lock. And you're just going to crochet until that piece that was left over is crocheted into the lock. Okay, once you finish the initial crocheting of the lock, you're going to palm roll the entire lock all the way down to the bottom, from top to bottom. And then you're going to go back in with the crochet hook and you're going to crochet any flat areas that you may feel within the lock. Because you don't want your lock to have flat areas. You want the lock to be thick and full so when you press down on it, there there aren't any flat spaces. If you still have a pointy edge, you're going to um, fold over any leftover hair like we did on step two and just crochet it into the rest of the lock. And um, I like my ends to look a certain way, which is rounded. So I'm going to do it until I achieve that look. All right, guys, this should be the finished look once you have crocheted the lock together, palm rolled it, and then crocheted again. Any flat spaces, this should be your finishing look. All right, guys, so this is what your lock should look like once you're done crocheting them. Uh, they do look a little stiff, but the apple cider vinegar soak, the cleaning, and the bowl will fix all of that. They will have body, they will bounce, they will move, they will shake. Okay, guys, so this is two packs of the uh, Cuban Twist double strand hair. And this is uh, 10 to 12 inches. This is about 36. So one pack make 18 of them. And so since I have two packs, that's 36. I'm going to do uh, the other two packs. And that'll give me about 80 to 90 locks to complete my head with. These have not been cleaned or anything yet. I actually just got done making these. I'm going to let them sit in apple cider vinegar for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to boil them. And then I'm going to wash them. The reason why I let them sit in apple cider vinegar is because this hair is not 
100% human hair. This is the 100% Kanaka line, as you can see here. So anytime I'm using any hair that's not 100% human, I do like to soak it in apple cider vinegar so that it can take off any chemicals that are on the hair that will make my scalp break out or cause irritation on my scalp because that has happened to me before. So I always um, soak the hair in apple cider vinegar so all those chemicals can wash off. And then I boil the hair to make sure all of the apple cider vinegar is out. And it also loosens the hair up a little bit more. They kind of look stiff right now, but once I get done washing and cleaning them and everything, they're gonna be more flexible, more, uh, you know, more natural. So after I get done washing, I'm gonna make the rest of these um, locks and then I'm gonna install them in my head, which I may show you guys or I may not, I'm not sure yet. I know that a lot of people always say, can you have permanent lock extensions without using human hair? Guys, it is totally safe to use Kanakalon hair or hair that's not 100% human hair for your permanent lock extensions. As long as you prep the hair correctly, clean it correctly before you actually install it or have it installed, it is totally safe to use the Kanakalon hair. This set, I'm trying to plan on keeping these um, and just letting my hair grow out with these and then clipping the extension off to wear my real hair as dreads. I'm not sure yet, but that is my goal. If you know for sure that you're gonna keep your permanent lock extensions for good and that's just gonna be your hairstyle, then you know, have at it, get the human hair. It is a lot more expensive than the Cuban Twist or the Kanakalon uh, hair brands. But if you know that you're gonna keep your style, you're gonna keep that, you know, your locks in, have at it, get the human hair, you can dye it. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the human hair. Me, clearly, I switch out my locks a lot. Even though they're permanent lock extensions, if you have the right person doing your hair, know what they're doing, you can switch out your lock extensions whenever, how many ever times you want to. And this is my second set of permanent lock extensions. This is gonna be my third, cause I'm gonna take these out and install these myself. You don't always have to have the human hair, guys. You really don't, it's, that's not true. But make sure you're cleaning and prepping your hair correct. Another thing that I always hear about the permanent lock extensions is that people say, oh, I want to dye my hair. I can't dye the Kanakalon hair, which is true. This hair is not dyed. This is the 100% Kanakalon as well. If you absolutely want to just keep dyeing your hair or keep changing your hair, then I do recommend the human hair. So that way you can have that option to freely dye your hair, bleach your hair, do whatever. But if you want to use the 100% Kanakalon, just get whatever color that you would want in your hair. And then you would make the locks with those colors like I did with this uh, set here. So color is actually um, possible. Also, if you start off with a black set, it's possible to add blonde tips onto these or whatever color tips. 